Hello. A lot of people say lower your car. I say opposite. You need to raise it. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Fab Town. I know it's been like a month since I posted a video. But today is a big day. I've been taking a break from YouTube just because I have been incredibly fucking busy. And that's what happens when you own a business is uh, sometimes you gotta, you gotta figure shit out. And right now, I'm trying to figure out how to cut. Oh, there we go. Today is a huge day. A long time coming. Almost four years probably passed when I should have got one. A legit two post lift. We all threw in on it. We had a bunch of friends that all needed to use a lift and we were like, you know what? The best way to do this is to crowdfund it because if you get something like this, the first thing your friends ask is, hey, can I come over and use your lift? So why not have everybody just chip in? And uh, it worked out great. We, we were able to get it and get it a lot faster than if I just uh, had 2,000 extra dollars to you know, throw around. I'm super stoked. We are done with the days of uh, climbing on the ground. Uh, yeah. Now we're gonna try and uh, figure out how to install it. First, we gotta get it on box though. Done. We gotta be pretty far back. Over. Over here. I need to clear out some space over here. Coronavirus out here getting real. I'm trying to protect myself, but not from coronavirus, from uh, concrete. Though. Drill these holes and then pound these giant fucking studs in. Had to buy a two hundred dollars. Drill just to do this. So so far, it's not real good. Damn good job, though. Yep. That's tight. <laughs> so the lift is up, but we kind of fucked up. We fucked up, and we kind of didn't fuck up. The instructions are not. Super clear, should have known, Ching Chang China. In the instructions, it says, from the faceplate over there to right here, should be 102 and an eighth. And we're pretty much right there, 102 and. Then, in the same instructions, it says that we should be 113 inches on center from the front bolts to front bolt. We are now 108. So we're supposed to be way out here. What happened was, we read the directions. If we hadn't read the directions and we had just eyeballed it, we would have figured out that this center plate doesn't fit at 103 inches and probably doesn't even fit at 113 inches, neither here nor there. Um, so yeah, instead of resyncing new anchors in, which sounds ghetto, but we don't want to drill holes right next to holes and we don't want to move this lift anywhere else. We do think that we are going to be able to use the lift properly if we're a little bit in from where we we're at. Nothing we have is super wide. So if we run the arms all the way in, I think we'll be fine. We're going to try it. If not, we will move the lift. There's no harm, no foul in what we're doing. We can, this can be shorter and still function properly. You just have a little cable sticking out on either end. And then if we do decide to move the lift, we can always take the cable extensions off and yeah, go from there. It'll work fine. It'll just be a little narrower than before. And if anybody has any real problems with it, because we all went in on this lift, I'm sure we can just change it. So we're gonna press. We're gonna shorten this thing um, to fit properly. And then, uh, yeah, go from there. Adjust the cables as need be. Okay, it's four inches, just over four inches. Decided to just move the lift. For that price, we can just go get, we just went and got new bolts. Oh yeah, we can just do that. Yeah, we like cut it. them off like super flush because we were worried we weren't We used the, off. yeah, we used the cutoff. We could have literally turns. just taken the bolts out and probably hammered them down. Just like.
Okay. I don't know where we left off. Where did we leave off? Good question. I think we were hammering those down or tightening the bolts. <laughs> Whatever we were doing last, uh, we have put the arms on. We have tensioned the cables properly. They're pretty close. They should be fine. We got the little cover piece for the hose and everything, so that's good. And we were determining which car we were going to start with, valuable cars. We're not going to put those on there first. So we're going to put Jake's Audi on it. Yeah. $900. $900. We're not going to put the $40,000 Supra on it just yet. Maybe we'll raise and lower the Audi like five or six times. I think we should paint lines where people should drive, but like guidelines, but leave it halfway up for like 15 minutes see how it goes. and then farther up and then bring it back down. It's so sick. I'm ah, we did it! Dude, do you know how many years I've been crawling under cars? Yeah. Fucking sucks. To get I'm to this so point. Stoked. Like, it's far cheaper than anything, any projects you've bought, but. I know, I've I spent way more money. I should have bought one probably like. <laughs> uh, the two four years, years ago. Oh, yeah, four years ago. It looks pretty level. It does, yeah. Ah. Like, I'm content with that. We did good. For just, you know, a total of four people have touched this lift, so not bad. Honestly, it feels fucking solid like a rock, dude. Again, this lift is from China. China! <laughs> China, China fucking killed it. China's killed yeah. the game. The instructions are a little... Yeah, the instructions <laughs> suck. <laughs> but uh, considering they you were in Chinese... in the instructions when they tell you to drill the holes, they would tell you exact number of how many inches you should put it instead of just having like this really vague diagram yeah dude we have a lift it's in here i guess we should post in the lift uh, thread yeah we should i'm sure there's a reddit lift thread too just got my new lift all right guys that's gonna wrap up today's video Today's and yesterday's video, excuse me. We have a lift. We have done it. It's happening. Jake's lowering his car as we speak. We have completed the install. Overall, I'd say that the Chinese lift was a win. Uh, we need to learn to read directions better and they need to learn to write them better. Other than that, I feel like we have accomplished a huge feat. Jake, wouldn't you say so? Oh, uh, a lot. Extra a massive. Massive. We put this in with zero experience. So I would say at home, if you have any mechanical experience, you could put this lift in. The A plus lift is a uh, is a win for 1700 bucks on Amazon. The freight and everything like that was a little tricky, uh, but that was more on us than anything else. Uh, thanks for hanging around on the on my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again real soon. Peace. X90 ways to break your neck Close enough, watch your step Slam dunking with the net Chilling on my private Laker Standing O up in my set Michael Scott with the paper Midnight level with the threat Militant with the beat Left, left, right, left I don't know what you've been told But they all fucking with the best No more fabricating lies 30,000 in the sky Mach 2 to the room I'm an A, she open wide Sipping coffee, no cream 120 down the street 11,000 with the heat Turn the fuck up, bout to melt some steel beams Sipping coffee, no cream I'm already too sweet 11,000 with the heat Turn the fuck up, watch me melt some steel beams